hi guys welcome to my channel my name is adobia and i am a beauty and lifestyle content creator on instagram but many of you have asked me about how i film my content how i get high quality videos and so this is one of a number of videos that i want to put together as some kind of resource as far as i can share or as far as i have learned but today's agenda is basically to give you a beginner starter kit for high quality video if you watch the last video we spoke about the four elements of video these would give you an idea of the kind of things you need to start with and then there are a few others that would add to it to make a complete kit just you know just the bare minimum so let's get into video now the best device to film is with. the one that you have which is most likely going to be your phone we've heard think media and other content creation channels say this over and over again but what i want to add to it is you need to choose a device that you can grow with and here's why technology keeps changing every other quarter and every year a new device is coming out in a certain industry be it a mobile phone be it a camera technology keeps moving really quickly hardware and software so you need to get a device that with new software changes and updates that are coming you can quickly adapt with the device you have i would highly recommend that you upgrade your phone if you have a phone that is fairly good you're not in the market for a new camera you're not in the market for a new phone or you have got a new phone but you want to increase the quality and make it a little better because it's not the latest phone you can download camera apps professional camera apps cost around 15 dollars give or take the one that i am most familiar with is filmic pro and it is available on apple oh wait 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 i just found out that filmic pro is now charging by the week it used to be a one-time 15 dollar investment and then you can make in-app purchases but this is now three dollars a week and about 35 cds a week in the app but most phones right now are coming with very very good and amazing camera settings to help you manually control the camera so i guess the native camera would be fine for now but if this does not sound like a big deal then filmic pro is fantastic and android it used to be available only on apple but now i think and i'll check and put up here on the screen that it's available for android users as well the thing is though that you have to dedicate a little bit of time in learning how to use it and if you learn how to use that you have a fair idea of the basics of how to operate a camera so let's say you are in the market for a camera you can afford a camera you want to get a camera a lot of creators a few years ago were buying the canon m50 and i can understand why because it was affordable there were lots and lots of tutorials and content around how to use that particular camera but if i'm not mistaken it has been discontinued so i would not recommend getting that because like i said technology keeps changing quickly for beginners the sony zv e10 for video is a great choice if i had just about thousand dollars i'm not going to get a thousand dollar camera i would get this camera because it is a little bit under eight hundred dollars and you have a little more to spare to get storage like your memory cards etc so the first on our list now would be either using the phone you have upgrading your phone or getting a camera if you can afford it depending on where you stand when it comes to stabilization there are two things that come to mind a tripod and a gimbal but for beginners buy the tripod stand you would always have use for a tripod stand it helps you do a lot of storytelling as well without actually holding the camera at all times with a gimbal a gimbal requires you to be part of the device when you are filming you need to hold it or somebody needs to hold it for you but your tripod is your second cameraman especially if you're a solo creator you absolutely need a tripod but if you have a little bit more you can throw in a gimbal let's talk about audio if you have a camera you can use your phone as your audio and it would have been nice to have like um, a dead cat on top of this or something to help with my plosives so i'm trying this out for the first time so let me know if it sounds better than the previous videos where i use the camera sound but then i also have the camera recording audio as well hello guys welcome to my youtube channel consider subscribing so let me know in the comments which one of them sounds better there are various mics on the market i'll leave a few links down below that you can check out and try now the next thing to talk about is light if you watch the previous videos you know that it's i recommend that you get a word if you watch the previous video you would know this is the word of the day and just to know that you've come this far please leave the word in the comments and i'll know that you're an og yeah an og a five in one reflector to be specific and the human sized one instead of the smaller one get a reflector if you're in the market for artificial lights there are several um, options on the market depending on your choice and there are lights from various brands personally i am looking to get 
something from GVM, newer or aperture and even if you get artificial light you would need your reflector it comes in handy trust me you want to buy a 5-in-1 reflector one thing you have to consider is storage if you are using your phone it is a no-brainer that your phone will come with storage but if you are going to upgrade your phone try and get something with as much storage as possible because as a content creator trust me either get an external card memory cards if your phone supports them have space because you will need it there are days that you would realize that you don't have space your phone is not allowing you to film your card is full you don't want to be caught in the middle of a video and your phone won't let you film anymore or all your cards are full and you have nowhere to transfer your content to because you don't have storage and you need storage and your device is full and it just won't let you film and especially if you have a camera if you don't have a memory card it is not going to record it for you sorry <laughs> now there's one more thing i need us to talk about before we talk about our editing software which is cleaning if you have a phone you are very lucky you can always use lens wipes soft tissue sometimes i use like the bottom of my shirt to do a quick rub down before i film anything when you have a camera especially you need some sort of tool or cleaning kit for your camera now last but not least is editing and with editing there are two things to consider the device you are editing with and the software or app that you're using to edit yeah that was a full sentence right that made sense if you are planning on using your phone to edit and you are using a camera you are definitely going to have memory cards get a memory card reader that you can connect directly to your phone the card reader is very convenient to save you time you pop the card into one slot and then pop the other slot into your phone and then you can take your your content from there and edit now let's talk about apps and software if you are using your laptop there are apps that you can use the three most popular ones that you get tons of reviews and tutorials on youtube for that you can learn from would be final cut premiere pro or davinci resolve if there are others i have no idea and quite frankly i do not care in this point in time now if you're using your phone there is InShot, there is CapCut. And CapCut is really great as well i i like the font that i find on there that's what i like right now from CapCut. now there is one more that is a little bit complicated but it is one that can give you as close as possible to professional editing softwares on mobile and it's called luma fusion you have to buy this it's not free there's no free version apart from your phone and your laptop you could be using your tablet to edit all the apps that you use on your phone you can use on the tablet so now let's put our beginner starter kits together an upgrade of your phone or a camera a tripod a reflector lights your audio device now some sort of storage device your editing device and then your editing app or software that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video and you made it this far leave the word of the day in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one